Hello everybody, I am Goblin Tacos, and I'm here with my very first movie review. So as you can see, we have Phantasm, and as you can see, we have my Phantasm poster, which I've got in this very nice little frame, because it is the greatest movie of all time. <laughs> no, it's not really the greatest movie of all time, but it's um, my favorite horror movie of all time. So, uh, this is the... Uh, Will Go USA uh, collection set and it's really really cool the art on it and if you've been in with my channel long enough you know that I had this as my um, channel uh, picture for a very long time it's kind of dark with the camera but and it's got a little glossy thing to it <laughs> but I'm a nerd about that kind of stuff because I love um, I love box collections, and here's the back of it. It tells all the the movies that come with it, everything. A little cool, um, little side thing. It's got the ball on there. It's pretty cool. So, we're also going to go over what all comes with the movie set. And if you know anything about these movies, you know that there are five of them now. Uh, the last one came out, I think, 2016. Anyway, first we have the first one. And it's very, very cool. I love that it's got the original um, paper on it. And I don't know if these are... Oh, the, uh, the sleeves are reversible. I forgot about that. The reverse sleeve looks like this. Which is also pretty cool. It just has one on there with the ball. It's pretty cool. And, and it's kind of got a cool looking uh, tall man on there. And then, which is exactly the same, but the, I love this, this um, artwork because this is the original movie case that I first had. Uh, and I actually have the original um, movie and movie case. I'll have to go get it in a minute. And so that's the first one. Uh, does it come with any kind of... No. Okay. Next up, number two. And that's the original artwork for that one too. And then we have Phantasm Three: Lord of the Dead. Really, really cool. Phantasm Four: Oblivion. And then Phantasm 5, Ravenger. And that one has a really cool, its own little unique uh, thing because it's a newer one. And yeah, nothing really comes with that one either. But then we come to the book. This is probably the coolest part of this whole set. And I really, really think um, that that there's no better than, than this. I don't know what I'm trying to think of. <laughs> but this is really, really cool. Um, it's got, it's like a really long, uh, I don't know if you can tell how thick, how thick that is. And so, uh, anyway, it's got some really cool information about the making of the movies, and uh, it's even got some cool, like, artwork, and uh, pictures from the movie. You know, it's just really, really cool. Uh, one day I kind of want to uh, sit down and kind of read the whole thing um, to, to y'all. I've already read, read it myself. It's really, really neat. Uh, but one story I had with Phantasm was uh, how I first got into Phantasm was um, the, th the third one. I was, I was at home when I was about probably like, I don't even know, probably 10 and I was watching the third one on television. I can't remember what channel it was on, but it was um, it was it was like already halfway through the movie, and I was about to go to church. And it was at the part of the movie where those bad guys were going through the kid's house, and they you know he had those uh, traps set up for him. And then it went to the part where the they went to the church, and then those bad guys came back as zombies and. 
I was just about to go to church, so I did not want to go to church at that time. <laughs> it was really, really bad. But I never knew what the movie was called for years because, you know, on TV back then, it didn't really have a guide or um, any kind of thing telling you what the movie was unless you saw it from the beginning. And um, anyway, so um, that's how I first got into Phantasm was watching that. And so for years I was like, you know, what was that movie? What was that movie? And I kept trying to figure out what it was. And finally one day one guy told me, I told him what the movie was about. And he was like, oh, that's Phantasm. And I was like, what the heck is that? And so I looked it up on Amazon and they actually had all of them, you know. So I started buying them one at a time, starting with the first one. And I just went on from there and I've been a fan ever since. So, um, so anyway... I think it's a really, really cool movie and movie series in general. Um, if I had to do these in any like favorite order, I would probably say I'd probably say three is my favorite, just because I love um, I love all the different characters that they kind of uh, start. I kind of hate that they that they waited to include these certain characters in the movie. In the third one, they should honestly. I wish they would have included them from the get go because they were they were great characters to me. Uh, but there's a lady named Rocky on there, and she's really badass. I mean, I think she's really cool. Um, and, and who else was? Oh, then that little kid that was setting the traps or whatever was really cool. And so anyway, I just thought the the um, special effects and everything were really cool. And then I probably would say this my second favorite would be um, probably two because it um, it just has so much story to it and it's uh, really good really good effects some crazy uh, kills crazy effect kills and then probably <laughs> trying to stack these on my chair. Stay out there. Okay, this is this is Ben. I don't know what I'm doing. Stay. Okay. And then probably one uh, will be my third pick, just because it's you know it's better than four and five. Honestly, uh, it's just you know it's what started it all. You know, Mike, Reggie. The tall man, Jody, uh, they all started it all. And I love the younger Mike. The older Mike is, is, is cool, but he's not, he was so like adventurous and outgoing when he was younger. But in the, starting in, I think three, three and four, he was kind of, you know, he didn't really do a whole lot. And anyway, so number one is my third pick. If these movies fall down, I swear to God. <laughs> then Phantasm 4, and then Phantasm 5. So, that's my pick. 3, 2, 1, 4, 5. <laughs> it's really weird, but, you know. Um, and I really, 5 is kind of, I will say I was a little let down, but then again, I'm glad they made another movie because... Angus Graham was so old, and I was really glad that they actually got another movie out before he passed away. And uh, anyway, it's it's not the greatest, but it's it at least kind of it doesn't really end the series because they kind of ended it in a way where it could continue. But it, it at least gives them something to remember Angus Graham by, you know, just something kind of since he died right right after I think. Um, they made that one so but anyway that is the phantasm movie collection well go usa edition uh, i really wanted the aero video collection because it comes with a cool box too and it has the little silver ball even though it looks like it's just made of plastic or something <laughs> but i think it'd be really cool to have and but i don't want to pay um like two hundred dollars for it because even this one, I looked up on Amazon. I'm trying to get this in here without tearing something up here. Uh, even this one, 
now, if you look it up on Amazon, is anywhere from like a hundred and something to two hundred dollars. And I'm like, that's crazy. Because when I bought it, it was eighty something dollars. And I was like, I gotta have it because I know how these prices inflate. You know, the inflation on these prices. When something like this comes out, it's gonna go up fast. And it did. So uh, I hadn't looked it up in a while, so it may not be that high now. But at one time I looked, it was like two hundred dollars but anyway so that is my uh, review on the phantasm collection series um, i don't have any way of showing you clips of the movies or whatever like everybody else does i don't really want to do like everybody else i just kind of want to show my love and appreciation for these movies that i'm gonna be doing more reviews kind of you know they're not it's not really a review it's just kind of like a showing of of the movie and uh showing what, what I like about it, uh, but anyway, so, Phantasm 1, great movie, it, what starts it all, the characters are great, um, acting is great, um, Phantasm 2, I hate that they switched out Mike, but he, the guy who plays him, I think his name is Mike LaGrosse, really did a good job, and I can't really say anything about him being bad, because he really did do a good job, um, the, the like I said, the gore effects are good. The um, um, the acting is good. I like the story of that one. Phantasm three, like I said, is probably my favorite, and I love the character, the new characters they bring in. I wish they would have brought Rocky in before the third one because she was really really cool. Uh, at least I thought she was. <laughs> and I even have a. Um, a uh, Fallout 4 builds on all the characters and on most of the characters in, Fall in Phantasm and uh, Rocky was one of them I really I just thought she'd be a really cool hand-to-hand -hand kind of uh, combat because that's kind of what she uses in the movie a little bit not she uses guns too but I just thought she'd be a cool hand-to-hand -hand person anyway and then it's like I said Ravenger oh sorry uh, 4 Four is really good because it kind of, honestly, they could have stopped with four because it would have, I mean, it, it did end like they, there was going to be another one, but it it actually could have, uh, the, the, the second ending to four uh, where Mike is going, is riding in the truck, the ice cream truck with Reggie and they like hear something and he's like oh it's just the wind and it, it like reverts from the end of the movie back to when they're young and it's like none of that even happened or something it was really cool it was a really unique idea they could have stopped it but they, i know they they wanted to try to get one more done and i'm glad they did even though it wasn't as great as i thought it was going to be but still it's worth watching you can you, you can really tell they had a lot of fun having going back and being in a movie together again so anyway uh, that's all I got so uh, if y'all have any certain movies that y'all want to see reviews of I only have a certain amount of collection I only have a certain collection of movies I'm gonna try to do all of them and show y'all what I have and um, oh and I was gonna show off the other um, parts I had hold on a second Okay, <laughs> so like I said, this is that original art, uh, and I think it's the same. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Has a cool back. It's an Anchor Bay collection. Anchor Bay is a really good company. To uh, oh, I have it taped because the uh, disc is loose in there. I've had this for a very long time. I've had this for like. <sighs> Mm. probably at least 10 years or more it's really it's been through some rough times and then uh, and I don't even know why I even bought this one probably because it was on blu-ray and before I found the Wellgo USA one but this one's got some really cool artwork on it too 
and this is the this I think this came out before the Welgo USA did and it's a blu-ray and DVD version and I thought you know why not I love the movie I'm gonna buy it and it's the remastered version which is the same thing that's in um, the Welgo USA one and so yeah it's got some really cool artwork and it's kind of got a shim to it too and the little like the balls on here kind of glimmer and I don't think anything no nothing really came with that one either but anyway so I just wanted to show off my phantasm collection and hope y'all like this video um, thank y'all for watching all my videos my game stuff hope y'all like my review stuff and I'm going to try to do some more, show off my whole uh, horror movie collection or even movie, not just horror movies, but probably more other kind of movies too. But anyway, I'm signing off.